What's up programmers, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to send a form in Django using Ajax and form data. Normally, it's also possible to send forms only with Ajax by defining data inside the function. And I think I already explained this in my previous tutorials, but with form data it becomes much simpler and faster to handle the form submission. So let's get started. As always, as you see, I created a new project named MySide and a new app named Core. And I already configured the settings.py, so let me quickly show you what's going on here. I include the app in uh, into installed apps configuration, and I configured the templates here, as you see. And since we will serve and send images in our project, that's why I configured media URL here as well, and static URL here. Uh, just to serve this, H, um, this actual CSS and JS stuff. And let's switch to models.py here. Uh, I created a very simple model. I tried to keep it very uh, as, simple, uh, as simple as possible. Uh, so as you see, the fields are going to be title, description, and image. And then I migrate these models, uh, making migrations, everything. As you know, you, you should be familiar with this stuff if you're not a beginner in Django. So let's switch to views.py. I add new uh, view here. As you see, it's very simple. I'm just um, I'm just getting all created objects and rendering it in our template. And the last thing is I include this um, view in URLs, or actually, let's say I include a new path in URLs.py. Uh, as you see here, a new path uh, just to render our view in this uh, in this path. All right. Enough wasting time. I know this is a very basic part. You're actually right now saying that okay, just come to main stuff, please. I don't want to. Sh I don't want to watch these parts. Okay, okay. Just let me uh, close this URL.py here. Okay, so let's now create our templates folder here quickly. Don't worry, I will not going to write every HTML stuff again here. I'm just creating these files and I will. Uh, I will copy and paste this HTML blocks directly from my GitHub repository. So let's go. This is my uh, GitHub repository. I will put the link in the description of this video so you can um, clone or download the project from this link. Uh, let me open base HTML and copy this code block here and boom. So here it is. I have two URLs here. One of them is blog uh, for blog and one of them is for creating posts. Control S and then switch to blog html i will copy this html as well and paste it here that's it i'm just iterating through posts and fetching all the fields here you know you, you this stuff is really boring let me close this i don't want to see it anyway okay so what's forum data forum data is basically a data structure that can be used to store key value pairs it's designed for um, holding forms data and you can use it with javascript to build an object that corresponds to an html form in our case we will store our form values and pass them into ajax and then ajax will make post request to a django backend okay i'm saying it uh, i'm saying it again uh, we will store our forum values in forum data and pass them into Ajax. And then Ajax will make post request to a Django backend. That's it. Now let's create a new HTML file uh, in our templates named create post HTML. <clears throat> All right, now let's create our form and Ajax request. Uh, I don't really want to waste time again <laughs> to writing all this stuff. I know you need the solution as soon as possible because uh, uh, when I search for something, I really don't want to uh, watch the <laughs> watch the tutorials the guy writing here manually. It's really um, I'm not I'm not really patient in this kind of situation. So I know some of you are waiting for the result as soon as possible. So that's why I'm just copy pasting this code snippet directly from my GitHub repository. And here it is. We have a really simple forum here. By the way, I'm using Bootstrap for, for the styling. Uh, we have really simple forum here. And as you see, we have all the fields, a title, a description, and image. And I include the ID, ID attributes for each fields. 
and the final, uh, or, or no, this is not field, this is button, and I just add a new ID for this button, uh, because we will listen clicks, when the user will click, the jQuery will listen to this button clicks by using its ID right here. This is just really uh, basics of jQuery. You should be familiar with this stuff because it's really beginner level of the programming, actually, web, web programming, let's say. All right, as you can see in script part, first we are creating form data object. The main part is starting, okay. First, we are creating form data object and then we are using append method to append a key value pair to the object. You can change the key name whatever, whatever you want, but I am keeping it the same as the field names because we will use them later to fetch data in Django views. But you can change it to post title, post description, post image. It doesn't really matter. We will just use these key names to fetch uh, the right data in Django backend. And you can see I'm using ID here. The field ID to get the right fields and the values are fetched by using val method. This is just a simple jQuery stuff. You should already be familiar with this because this really beginner level of uh, beginner level of web programming. And the same situation for description, but the image field is a bit different. The image the image is file input, so we can't get it. So we can't get the file just using val method. The file input stores a list of files, and since we are uploading only one file, we can get it from uh, we can get it from the first position of the list like this. Okay. Next, we have a new key value pair here. The action. Uh, what it does? It's just separating the post request uh, in the Django backend. For example, let's say we have two forms in our page. One of them is for creating posts, and one of them is for creating comments. When you make a POST request, Django should understand which POST request is this. Is it from POST, uh, post creation form, or is it from COMMENT creation form, let's say. So we can separate them by adding this just extra field here uh, in form data and define the action name. So Django will understand. Uh, I will show you in a second when we will create, uh, when we will create the views. Uh, the Django will uh, check if it's a create post or if it is create comment, for example. And the last thing is for form data is CSRF middleware token. Uh, what it does, as you know, this is just uh, we are avoiding 403 forbidden error when the post request has been made. This is a comp uh, this is compulsory when we are making post request, right? Okay. The, this is all for a forum data part, and we have AJAX function here. Uh, the AJAX function, let's uh, go through these properties here. Type post, of course we are making a post request, that's why the, uh, the, the request type is post. And next property, next property is URL, uh, which is current URL here. Uh, we will create it, uh, this URL later in this tutorial. And the data. So, um, in the AJAX function, instead of defining each field manually in uh, in front of this data property, we are just passing form data object uh, directly to the uh, AJAX function. Uh, so the form, so the AJAX will send this form data uh, to the Django backend. So we don't have to define each field manually in front of this data property. Cache false uh, and okay, these two guys here is really important process data false and content type false. If you do not include these two lines in your AJAX request, uh, the, form uh, the AJAX request will fail because form data expects these two uh, configurations in AJAX function. So please uh, include this um, process data and content type, set them false and include into the AJAX function. Uh, what it does, let's say process data false. Uh, you must set process data false uh, because otherwise a jQuery will try to convert your form data into string uh, which will fail nat naturally and content type false forcing jQuery uh, not to add a content type header uh, for request otherwise the boundary string will be missing from it okay that's why these two lines is important eng type multipart form data because we are sending images and finally, when uh, once 
the AJAX function sent successfully, the success function will let us know by uh, alerting in browser that the post has been sent. If uh, the post request has been failed, then error function will show us what is the error in browser console. Okay, let's save it here and let's go to our views.py in our app so we can fetch the post request in Django backend. So I'm creating a new um, function here. Create, uh, let's say post view. And I'm passing request argument. And okay, so uh, if you remember, I said we add a new field, uh, extra field in our uh, Ajax function, which is uh, the action create post, and we are going to use it here right now. If request the post dot get action, so we are now getting the action. If the action is equal to create post, then run the code snippet below. So we are first we are fetching title. So I will write title request post request dot post dot get title. Okay, uh, this is the key name here. You see, if we write post title here, then we should uh, rename it with post title. But I'm just keeping it the same as field name. Title get title. That's it. Then description. Let's just copy this line here, paste it here, and then I'm going to change this title to the description. That's it, and image. Image equals request. The image is file, that's why we are going to say files dot get image. And that's it. Then we are creating our object by using a create function. Post objects dot create title equals title description equals description and finally image equals image. And then let's render our template. Return, render, the template name, uh, let's first pass request, and the template name is create post HTML, right, and, and that's it, we don't have context here. Control S, and okay, so simply we are getting the data by its key name and then using create a function to create a new object in the database. And uh, I'm sending again, as you see, uh, the if statement, where we, we used if statement to check the action name. So if the action name is create post, then the object will create. Okay. And let's now switch to urls.py in our um, pro root, uh, the project, project directory. And uh, we will add a new path here, path create post. And let's import our view here. Create post view. Comma create post view. And let's name it create post. Create post, right? Let's see. What's here? Create post. That's it. And since we are again using the image, we are sending image and we, we want to display image in our templates. We should add some extra arguments. Uh, some, we should configure some extra... Uh, actually, we have to add some extra configurations here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, from Django. Uh, let's see. Conf. Import settings. And then from Django. That's it. And then we are just adding this one, static. Okay, so that's it. 
we just add uh, the, the extra uh, the media configuration here to show uh, to display our image in the bra in our templates. So let's save everything, and hopefully it will work. Uh, let's run the project. Say Python manage.py run server. Let's see what's gonna happen. Mo what? No model named my site Django. Uh, okay. The spelling mistake here. That's it. Let's run it again. Clear and run. Okay, so the server is running. Let's go to the browser and test it here. And boom, that's it. We have blog URL here and create post URL. So if I click blog, there is nothing here because we don't have any posts yet. But let's create a one. Enter title. Let's add awesome space. Oh my god, great title for the post. And description, I don't know, Lauren Ipsum, the Lord Summit. Choose a file. Let's choose a file, for example, this one. And when I click to submit, you see the Ajax request has been successfully sent. The post has been created. Uh, let's click OK. And when I click to the blog, you can see our new post has been created. Let's create another one. For example, I will write NASA, enter description, and choose a file. I have only one wallpaper right now. <laughs> That's why I will uh, select uh, the same wallpaper here. Submit. Okay, let's click the blog. As you can see, we have two new posts here. So that's it. Uh, it's really simple. As you see, uh, there is nothing really complicated here. We just uh, use we just used forum data with Ajax request, and you can see how uh, how easy it is to uh, handle post requests uh, by using these uh, two great tools, forum data and Ajax. And in views.py, we just fetch all this. Uh, data and created a new object in database. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. And if you want to download or clone this project, I will uh, put the link, put my GitHub link in the description of this video so you can download and uh, run this project in your computer. Thank you and see you next time.